Oh my God. I am in a little bit of a panic. What would you do if someone came to you and said, Hey, can you please cut this photograph out and make sure you get all of the hair deep etched out properly because we need to put this character on a new background. Well, you know what I would do? I would panic. Ah! Ah! Help me! I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. Do I have the tools to do it? I can't just use the magic wand on this one. No, sir. No, madam. You cannot. You have got to use Photoshop CS5 and the brand new complex selection tools in here. Let's see how to do it. Well, first of all, let's get off to a cracking start. We need a background color for it to go on. I'm going to come right over here to the layers panel and choose the pop down menu that looks a lot like a Neenish tart and choose solid color. We're going to do a solid color layer here and oh, I don't know. Let's go for green, 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 green. Green. Given that the ocean is filling up with oil at the moment, we want to uh, make as much green as possible. So we'll do that. We'll press OK. And we're going to uh, drag that behind our background layer. Just like so. OK. So that's going to be the new background. Green background. Wow. It's groundbreaking. Grab the quick selection tool and click and drag over the person object slash object that you would like to uh, etch out. OK. Good. That's step one done. Don't worry if it's um, you know a super good selection. You don't need to be too worried about. It. Now, at the top here, we have a new refine edge button. Okay, so go ahead and click it. Now, this has got everything, man. It's got absolutely everything. You see, at the moment, my selection is rubbish in the background. Absolutely rubbish. What we can do though is well first of all we can view this in a number of different ways we can view it as marching ants uh, overlay on black uh, on white as a matter of fact you can just tap F on the keyboard to scroll through those different views okay as if you're ever going to use that let's view this on the black background let's let Photoshop try and find an edge for us by dragging the radius slider over to the right and it will start to pick out all of the hairs and make a much better selection for us. So let's go back to our channel and you can see, yeah, it is starting to pick out those those edges for us. And you can drag that around as much as you like. Cool. There's a little few daggy bits in there. Go ahead and turn on the smart radius and Photoshop will go ahead and clean up those internal areas for us. Those infernal internal areas. Get rid of them. Keep expanding that out until you, you kind of think that's cool. Um, now, I'm worried about something. I'm worried about this area down here. Because if we go ahead and have a look at it on a white background, see there's areas in there that we really need to, to fix up. They haven't been included. Here's what you do. Go ahead and get the Refine Radius tool and you can actually paint in some more radius for it to look at. So we can paint that along in there and we can start to really pick out that edge. I'm going to expand this out even more. Paint it in there. Paint in here. If you go too far, you can erase it away using the Erase Refinements tool. So I, I can erase this little bit down there. Oh no, I want to put it back in. Oh, quick Mark, hurry up. The boss is coming. You want to make it better than that really quickly? No, I don't. I think it looks awesome. So. If I press F on the keyboard, then I can have a better look and I might want to, actually I do want to um, refine that radius a little bit more. I'm just going to paint along this edge here um, just to fix it up. You can see I could fix that up along the edge of our model's face there, right into this gap and I'm just painting a little bit more there. We want to make sure that our edge goes right over there. Looks good. And then again along the hair in the background. So as I'm painting it, Photoshop is really fixing up those edges and we want to make sure that our refinement goes right around that edge. Now we're starting to look good. Okay, that's good. Once we get it to this point, pretty happy with this, we can then shift the edge just in a tiny bit, maybe 2 or 3%, maybe 4%, just so it bites into the image a little bit. So that's good. And then the last thing that we can do over here is decontaminate uh, the edges if we need to. So decontaminating the edges will actually 
If there's a little tint around the outside, you see there's a tint of white, we can then decontaminate the edges. I'm going to bring that up and you'll see down here in particular that that edge is now blending into the background way, way better. And I'm just going to refine this edge over here a little bit more to fix that up. OMG, this looks bloody fantastic. That's how you use the refine edge. Now the last step, go ahead and output to a new layer with a layer mask, a new layer, a new document, even a new document with a new layer mask. That's ridiculous. That just shows that we've been listening to our customers. What do you want? I want a new layer. I'd like a new layer mask. I'd like a new document. I want a new document with a layer mask. Whatever, you can have each of them. So I'm going to choose new layer with a layer mask. Press OK. Have a look at the layers. As soon as this is done, there's the original. There's the new layer. Unbelievable. Hope you enjoy using the new Refine Edge tool in Photoshop CS5. It's awesome!